I need to move because I'm disabled and I cannot climb the flights of stairs that rise for me to get to the street. Ears is beyond frustrated about her basement walk-up apartment. Try to maintain hope, but I feel like in here I'm in under house arrest. She's been trying to move since her spinal injury worsened. But when she applied at the Lyric, an Upper West Side building with elevators, she was placed on a wait list twice. I just keep getting put on waiting list with no information about how long the wait might be or where I am on the list. The building owner, related, told four investigates, we comply with all the current requirements of the program and should the notice requirements change, we would of course comply. My legislation would actually require that these waiting lists be public information that you can see online where you are on the list. City Council Member Ben Kalos also wants to go after other landlords, like the owners of these buildings in East Harlem. They're required to provide affordable rent, but officials say they're charging market rates instead. Right now, your viewers are likely being overcharged. Kalos right estimates 1,500 buildings have failed to notify the public how many affordable units are available. He's introducing his new bill Monday. We really hope we can strengthen the laws because I don't think I'm alone in this problem. She isn't. Stacy Malo might have to give up an acting career if she can't keep an affordable apartment. Do you know where you are on the wait list? Not a clue. How frustrating is that? You just, yeah, you have to put it out of your head and continue on with your life and just hope and keep your fingers crossed that one day something good will happen. In Manhattan, Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.